a New Zealand tradition is eating pies. So we are going to try out a couple here and we're both having the same kind because, well, we're hungry. we're hungry and we like the look of it. So we both have a prime steak Dad's, Dad's pie. pie. So let's see what Daddy can provide today. See what it's like. This is prime steak. We don't have any plates because we're slumming it today. We do have a knife and fork. Let's open this baby up. There are birds flying around and that is an, <laughs> another New Zealand sort of attraction. Every time you go into like a, it a, looks quite meaty. a cafe or a restaurant, there are birds inside. Does it it look smells quite meaty? nice. Yeah, it smells lovely. Let's see what it tastes like. Nice bit of crust there. Mmm. Mmm, it's delicious. We heard about people liking their pies in this country. So where we are at the moment, the other choices were butter chicken and... Mince and cheese. Mince and cheese. Which, but this is prime steak, so we thought, well, let's just go for that. Mmm. I think it's a good choice. Well, Paul, you better start eating yours then. Do you know how I might try to have it? I, I might try to have it like a sandwich um, no a burrito fantastic. all right you know how they do it like in cornwall what messy no they just hold it they just hold it and then they eat it okay so look how nice this looks so now let me take a wee bite mm. nice mm. Very good. So would you recommend a New Zealand pie? Definitely. Looks as though we have become true New Zealanders now, Paul. This is our third pie. Well, I well, I think that I want to see what all the fuss is about. We we have had it twice and two times in different circumstances. So let's just see whether this one also makes the grade, which I really hope that it does. So we have got, I think this is the steak Sting. pie steak and, and steak and mushroom. And the other one is a chicken, chicken mushroom. and mushroom. If you'd like to bring it out. So should I start? Hair. Mm. 
fairly hot. Um, good filling. Yeah, does the trick. You're not using your fork, no? Well, I'm gonna use both because I need to- I don't really use forks. I need to dig in, you see, so. Let's dig in. You were sort of blurry before. <laughs> you sure it's not just your eyes? They do have spec savers here. <laughs> uh, right, okay, zoom in on that. Oh my God. There's the mushroom. We were lucky. This is up to three. Over there. <laughs> there. There's the mushroom. Where's the mince? Okay. Let's try this. Hot. Is it too hot for you? No. Mm. Mm, it's too hot. Right. Does it meet your standards? It's not the best out of the three that we had. But then it's like, it's hard to compare. I think, to be honest, the one that I had at Starbucks was probably the best. Mm. Um, it was bacon and egg. Would you like to swap? Uh, why don't you just eat it? I think I'll just oh, eat mine. Here's the meat. Let's see what this tastes like. It's all right, yeah, for a cheap lunch. Mm. <laughs> Taking time to reflect, Paul? Yes, I certainly am. And I think that a good way to reflect your dedication and appreciation for our YouTube channel is to subscribe. Thank you very much in advance. If you're looking for Chinese or Asian food, Lorne Street and High Street in Auckland could be the places to go. But we are going to start on the corner of Wellesley. This is still Wellesley. Okay, so something dumpling, I think, is part of a chain. Ooh, nice dumpling. I think this might be nice, it given the name. Nice. But it's closed. That's not nice, is it? Not if you're hungry, it isn't. This is a Friday night. At nine o'clock, or nine is it? Yeah, you would think that places would still be open. I think most of them probably are. A ten to nine, close yeah. enough. Um, you've got Vietnamese street food. Saigon Chow, uh -huh. which is going on the Vietnamese theme. And then we have Sanuki udon which might be closed given that it looks rather dim as in the lighting well i see steam coming out all right an oven maybe everyone's vacated I'm not sure mm -hmm. yes the chairs are on top of the tables oh uh, there's a sign that somewhere is closed. and then there is the kimchi project across the road over there uh seen it haven't had an opportunity to go in and then there's no nope, i don't think that's it mm. so we've got needy chicken or is it neen? neen chicken neen 
Main chicken? I think this is just like a chicken place. Says, happy choice. Wow. It's obviously very popular. There's a lot and it of is. And it's very happy. There's a bakery now. It was open a little bit earlier on when we walked past. Mm. Called Wheats. And then there's something called Plus Chicken, which is closed. Happy uh, Barbecue Duck. So these are the places that are Chinese made and they basically roast the chicken, the pork, and they serve it over the rice with some nice veggies, mm. which you've had before. The taste of China. This is maybe slightly more mid-scale. A little bit more pricey. Korean. A farro traditional. Korean grill. Uh, I think this is Chinese, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Sierra, I'm not sure, but that looks like it's um, dim sum related. No, I would have thought you would have got a square sausage down here because we're on Lone oh Street. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so not feeling well because of all those dumplings we just had. Yes, but didn't they look absolutely delicious? And they were. Yes. You had 21 and I had 19. Because I gave you one of mine. No, wait a minute. Everyone's Are they very going? polite here. Not very many people cross the road unless the light is in their favor. Come on. Or is it going? because jaywalking is illegal? I don't know, but... I'm prepared to wait because you usually like to just walk out into the middle of the road I do. and take your chances. I prefer to wait. Is that guy still out? So we're crossing onto High Street now. And there is another wide selection of places to eat. So we've got cocoa over there. I like the look of that. Fresh tea and juice. It looks like a fast food type of place. It's very bright. And look at the big orange bubbles that are hanging down. I think that they do those tapioca tip drinks. Ah, right. Okay. And over on my right is... Eat, sleep, sheesh and repeat. So that's like an Asian theme. Havana House, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, it's bags. Oh, right. Very expensive handbags. Inhale uh, the best, exhale the stress. Well, that's good Right. Advice. Now, we're coming up to some restaurants, one of which we went to the other night when they were only serving takeout because we... Where the hell it. was it? It was further down here. Was it? Yeah. And I then there's this place. Outside at the place we went to, yeah, there were two sort of, I think, I'm not sure if they were a cardboard, but there were two cutouts of people and each time, we've walked past twice now and I thought it was a real person. Oh. This is kind of like a convenience place. A Chinese convenience store. As color, which we haven't been into yet. But I'm sure we'll go. Two dollar things plus. Is that kind of like a dollar store? And yeah. then there's Ban Sang, which looks closed. My dear eatery. Oh, my dear. Oh, it was on that side. Oh, ah. So wait a minute. Oh, like, Ding the moon is something that we no, saw. It was Kathy Barbecue yeah. Duck. But there was another one of those up there. I think so it might be like a chain. Right. But look, there they are. See the cardboard cutouts? Oh, wow. Yeah, I thought they were good. Maybe this is more like a daytime, lunchtime thing. Maybe during the work week. And it's not Chinese, but over here we've got the coffee truck, which seems to be a chain of coffee shops. And someone from the hotel told me to go to Tati's. Oh, well, we haven't been there. For a um, nice selection of clothes. I'm not sure whether it's only women's. Actually, it looks as though it might be women's. Oh, I like the sign up here. Sneaky so. snacky? Yeah, donuts. <laughs> so we are approaching the hotel just now. Uh, 
But yeah, I think everything is somewhat closed because it is a Friday night. Well, we've come out of the area of the restaurants, but just coming up here, I like, well, I really love the name of this shop. Shut up the front door. <laughs> Would Look I? Look at this, the cards. We need to come in here. Look at this. They're open Sunday too. 9 a.m. Okay, cool. Yeah. Nice umbrellas. But you can hear lots going on because we're coming down towards Vulcan Lane, is it? Oh, yes, that is where we went on our first day yes. here. Yes, to the Occidental. But there's lots of places down there. Lots of nice little bookstop bookstores, too. Yeah. So this is Vulcan. How busy that is. Don't want to be caught up in there. So this is basically just our little general walk that we've done a couple of times through the CBD down, through the Chinese restaurants and down to our Hotel de Brat. What I have to say is you could never get bored here because you just walk round a street corner and you see something else and even though all the streets um, they're, they're, they're all individually named they're not numbers or letters or anything they are on a kind of a grid system so it's almost impossible to get lost we haven't got lost in fact on our first night I said oh in a few days we'll be saying we know this place at the back of our hand it I took actually me more than a couple did it I I sort of knew it the first day it was that easy I thought I don't know about you, but it is way too hot right now. You need to stay cool, and to be cool, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's Paul and Marcus. Counting your money, Paul? Yes, I think it's always good to have some local currency whenever you visit a new country or returning to one that you've been to before. So this is what we've done when visiting New Zealand. We went to Bureau de Change and got some local currency notes. But let me show you the coins first. These are the coins that we've accumulated so far. So the lowest denomination we have, and I think it exists, is the 10 cent. It looks like this. And it has the face of the late Queen Elizabeth II on the back. So on the other side of the 10 cent, opposite the Queen is this I believe it might be like a face mask or some sort of um, ritual type mask from the Maori descent, I believe, which is quite different and interesting in my opinion. So this is 10 cent. So the queen is on all the coins. So the 20 have I think some type of sculpture of some sorts on the back. So that's 20. The 50 has the queen and then on, so on this one it has a ship and it says Endeavor. I think it might be a commemorative type of coin. So this is 50. The next step up is the $1 and the queen is on face side and then on the opposite side it is 
a kiwi. So that's one dollar. And on the two dollar one, it's a picture of a bird on the other side of the coin. Okay, so this is all the coins. So let's go on to the notes. So let's start with the five dollars. On the face side of it is Sir Edmund Hillary. He was an intrepid explorer. And on the back side is, I believe this kind of looks like a penguin, but I'm not entirely sure. But they do have all these wonderful animals, possibly at a zoo near you in New Zealand. The name of this bird is called the Hoi Ho. Not sure I'm pronouncing it entirely accurate, but that's what it says on the back. On the ten dollar note is Kate Shepherd. She was pretty instrumental in the women's suffrage movement, and this is why, and this is how they are commemorating her. And on the back side is a bird called the Huo, W H I O. Hui. That's that's a hui. It doesn't. Is it spelled properly? Okay, so it's a hui. It's a, an interesting bird that's quite small, I believe. Don't write in if I'm wrong. On the twenty dollar note is the late Queen Elizabeth II. This is the only bill that they have, which, which have the Queen's image on it. And on the back side of the $20 note is uh, Correa. Yes, I'm probably butchering it, but that's the best I could do. So this is the $20 note and there is hologram and this on each of the other notes as well. On the $50 note is Sir Aparana Nagata. And on the back side is a uh, Kokaka. Kokako. Oh my God. That sounds really bad. So yes, it's very stylish. We have seen the $50 note in a uh, paper type, but this is more of a polymer. I should have also said that the other notes are also polymer as well, similar to the ones from the UK. And on the $100 bill is Lord Rutherford of Nelson. It kind of sounds familiar for some reason. Rutherford of Nelson. So this is made of paper, the one that we have, I believe. There are two styles of the 50 and the 100. This is the one that we got from the Bureau de Tronge. So there is a polymer and then there's a paper version. So it's best not to rip this because I think this one will rip. And like I said before, there is Lord Rutherford of Nelson and on the back is a uh, Mao, Mao, M-O-H-U-A. Don't write in for the mispronunciation. Uh, I will say something about it. Um, it's good that they are in it is good that they are different colored, so you won't confuse them together. This is kind of like a brownish yellow, this is a blue, this is green, this is purple, and then this one is kind of red-like. So I think it's easy to differentiate by the color and 
I th and the larger ones, like the larger denominations or the larger amounts are bigger in size. So the five is a lot small, is a bit smaller than the 10, and the 10 is a bit smaller than the 20, and 20 is a bit smaller than the 50, and the 50 is smaller than the 100. So it's another way to tell the difference between what the actual currency is if you may be vision impaired. So this is a good way to tell the difference. Well, I hope that this has been an informative discussion and topic for you, and this will help you next time you are planning your trip away to New Zealand. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed the episode today, and if you do, give it a like, and if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, and we do also appreciate your comments, so please leave them as well. See you next time. Bye. Bye.